Hey everyone, I want to say that fat is not healthy. Now, before you rip into me, hear me out. Before you start calling me a bunch of names like I'm a fat phobe or whatever, uh, hear me out. It's not healthy. And it's, it seems to me that it's so difficult um, and everyone's different. Some people have it a little easier than others. Some people have it a lot harder. And something that um, really irritates me is fat shaming. So I don't like it. I don't like it when I see it. I don't like it when people do it. But I'm not going to sit here and say that being fat is okay just because it's hard and there's a problem there that it's okay and it's healthy because it's not. Visceral fat is not healthy. If you have what I call drum belly, you know, you got that belly and it's like a drum, you're probably loaded up with visceral fat. And a lot of people have lean legs, lean arms, they're lean everywhere, but they got that drum belly. That's not good. You might be circling the drain. So I want to, again, encourage people. I'm not going to tell you that fat is okay and it's healthy because I don't believe that it is. But I also want to be sympathetic and realize that this is not easy, especially with the foods, the seed oils, the processed foods, the air. The, what are we supposed to eat? You know, and a lot of people can't afford to eat the way my wife and I eat. Um, we buy the best of the best, the best that we can, the special ordered, going to special grocery stores and special local farms and all that. That's not easy and it's not cheap. Prices are expensive right now, so it's hard. So what do you do? Well, being fat and giving up is what I don't want anyone out there to do. And if you know someone who's maybe a fat influencer or whatever, pass this video on to them. Uh, or someone who's struggled. Now, some people are gluttons. I'm not going to say that some people haven't made themselves fat because they have with bad diets, with being lazy. So some people, but my opinion is that is a much smaller percentage of the population than what you think. And I think that too many people look at someone and go, you're fat, you're a pig. I don't know. I just don't think that that's most people. I think it's harder to be healthy uh, today than it was 40 years ago. It was easier for me. I was younger, but you can still do it. But you have to figure out what's wrong. Something's wrong. Yes, you're eating something that your body doesn't like. And it's not necessarily... Look, you heard me talk about the calories in, calories out. Yes, if you're getting fatter and fatter, your body is not burning as many calories as what you're taking in. But you might be taking in a very low amount of calories and still gaining weight. You know I don't really like the term, that's not fair, but it's not really fair. <laughs> There's people that eat very little and they get fatter and fatter and they can't lose weight. Well, something's wrong. It's either what you're eating or what you're doing. You need to change your lifestyle in some way. Hormones. You know that hormones is, uh, I think, one of the, from my experience, one of the biggest culprits of weight problems. And especially if you're going along and you get to a certain age and you haven't changed anything, and then all of a sudden you, your body composition starts changing and you're getting fat and you didn't change anything. Maybe you're still exercising and maybe your, your diet is what it was before. Um, bad or good, you haven't changed it, but now all of a sudden you're getting fatter. Well, that's where you might want to get your hormones checked. But don't give up if you're overweight because being overweight is not healthy. You can get healthier and you can feel better. So you've got to figure out what's wrong. 
start with low hanging fruit. Change one thing and see what it does. Change your lifestyle. Either start exercising. Take one thing out of your diet, like all drinks that have calories in them and switch to water. Start with something. Start with something easy and see what happens. But you have to start to test your body to see what's wrong. Because if you're gaining weight, especially if you're not eating a lot, something's obviously wrong. Now, I'm, again, I'm not talking about those few people. And I think it's a minority of people that eat themselves into obesity. There are some, but I don't know. I just think today, these days, it, it's that's a smaller percentage of people are getting fat on purpose and just so addicted to food, they can't stop eating and they just eat all day. So I just want to encourage you, as I always do, if you're overweight, try one thing at a time and figure it out. It's worth it. It's worth it to figure it out. Start somewhere. Lifestyle is a big deal. Start exercising. Uh, join a gym. Um, start changing your diet and see what works for you because everyone's different. If you guys like tips on uh, nutrition, you I interview nutritionists, doctors, personal trainers on this channel. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, pass it on to your friends. I, I really try to focus on people who are older adults or getting older or starting to think people hit their, you know, maybe mid thirties, 40, and they start thinking, Hey, my body's changing. I want to stay healthy. I want to stay feeling young. I want to stay feeling good. So I kind of focus on that. Um, trying to relay my experiences, what's helped me, what's helped me stay fit as I've aged. And so Pass it on to your mom or your grandmother or your grandpa or whoever. Pass this channel on. Uh, like and subscribe. And I will talk to you soon.